Hey, hi! Welcome to the series of A Spice Sessions. I am Tota Krishna Hema, your A Spice expert. So today we are gonna discuss about Sway 4 software unit verification. So when you hear this term called software unit verification, so it says something like verification in the case testing and review as well. So let us talk some more in the next slides. So what is the purpose of software unit verification? The purpose of software unit verification is to verify software units to provide evidence for compliance of the software units with the software detail design and with non-functional software requirements. So the process outcomes are a software unit verification strategy including regression strategy is developed to verify the software units. Uh, so before talking to the process outcomes, so first of all, like uh, the software unit verification is completely built upon the software detail design. Remember, software detail design should be traceable to the software unit verification part. So the first step is to develop a strategy for the software unit verification, including the regression strategy. The first step and the second step is we have to develop a plan for that so detailed plan uh, so we can say and so let us read this thing criteria for software unit verification are developed according to the software unit verification strategy that are suitable to provide evidence for compliance of the software units with the software detail design and with the non-functional requirements. So along with software detail design, we need to ensure non-functional requirements also is fulfilled or not we need to ensure on. So software units are verified according to the software unit verification strategy and the defined criteria for software unit verification and the results are recorded. So we have to perform it or we have to execute uh, the defined software unit verification uh, or uh, the spec or we need to execute those test cases and we have to record the results as well. That means the test report we have to store somewhere. We have to record. So either in a tool or in, in the format of Excel. So consistency and direction traceability are established between software units criteria for verification and verification results. So results of the unit verification are summarized and communicated to all affected parties. So let us go in detail. Uh, so the output work products are test specification, test plan, communication record, review record, traceability record, verification results, test result, analysis report. So we have test strategy, I can say like unit test strategy or the unit verification, software unit verification strategy. And we have test specification, we have a test plan. Okay, and we have uh, after testing, we have to uh, publish the results. So and what about the verification results here is like code review results and even the static verification results comes into the picture and the analysis report is a static analysis report we can say and review record review record for the specification for the stat static sorry uh, for the strategy for the plan uh, even the results also so after the execution of uh, from a junior person or the or the test engineer so lead need to review it or when somebody writes a test case and a lead or uh, the manager need to review the test manager need to review so the static analysis tool i got it so the static analysis tool it'll get you some errors and your warnings so warnings of priorities or as well so like uh, you have to fix all the errors which are identified and uh, uh, we have to work for warnings like uh, we will select the priority wise like all p0 or p1s or uh, you know uh, these these kind of warnings we will fix and we will not take care about p3 p4 p5 or uh, we will not take care of about p5 or all the warnings we will fix so this all we will decide in the 
beginning of the project only uh, so the stat that is called static analysis so code reviews and uh, coding code reviews are conducted as per the coding standards and the guidelines like autosar or uh, your uh, your other mistra guidelines these all like we have to follow and uh, peer reviews or the code reviews will be conducted based on that and the static analysis also conducted through the tool okay and all the non conformities or the issues identified during this verification so we need to fix it or the particular developer need to fix it okay bp4 talks about test test software owners so it is it is talking about before like perform static verification is uh, it is talking about uh, um, static verification and code reviews but now bp4 talks about test execution unit test execution so after it, after executing the test cases so we need to record the results as a test report or in terms in when so, sometimes like we will report in a tool like bugzilla zira or any other bug management tool so bp6 bp5 talks about established bidirectional traceability so we need to ensure on the traceability between the software units and the software verification results so software units to the code review comments and the software units to your static analysis uh, errors and warnings uh so this particular piece of code is undergone a static verification or not like we need to ensure on or establish bidirectional traceability between the software detail design and the software unit specification uh so you got it right detail design to software unit verification specification so each and every test case uh to be traceable to the software detail design okay and establish bidirectional traceability between unit test specification and unit test results so Uh, it is bp6 talks about consistency as i always say like consistency talks about your bidirectional traceability and review records so just ensure on these two activities uh, so all the detailed design unit, unit test specification unit test records or results or the code reviews uh, or these all like you know uh, these all got a proper review or not like we need to ensure on and the tests are executing as per the plan or not like we need to, the as a project manager a project manager have to ensure on all these things and being a test manager we need to uh, ensure on and bp7 talks about communication of results so we need to communicate the results of the static verification and even software test so we need testing in to all the affected parties that means all the developers or Uh, the entire team need to know this like this particular thing is identified so as a, uh, to get it access so we need to put all these results in a configuration management tool whatever your configuration management tool it is at your sharepoint or team site or um, or your uh, svn vss whatever your configuration management tool so you need to store your configuration sorry your uh, verification results you need static software unit verification results in your configuration management tool and you have to uh, know you have to make it available to the entire team you have to communicate through an email or or an automatic gen automated generated email from your configuration management tool that yeah we have checked in this particular uh, thing into the configuration management tool so it will be available to the, all the uh, all the users of that that means all the stakeholders of the project so that's it from my end like if you have any doubts in this uh, particular topic you can always write to me at uh, askhematota@gmail.com so you can also comment in the below section uh, so if you like this concept subscribe to my channel thank you